Hello everyone, welcome to Quantifiers, which is India's best and most affordable CAD coaching. Now, before I discuss the solution for the question, let me quickly tell you that if you're a serious CAD aspirant, then please follow these steps. It will help you a lot in your preparation. Other than this, students, if you want to receive important notifications on your WhatsApp related to different colleges and different exams, then please fill the form given below in the description. Other important links are also there in the description itself. Now let us come to the question. I hope all of you have given it a try. And now students, this is one of those questions. If you solve it with the help of taking variables and then you will make equations, it would be very, very complicated. And there are always some questions in which it is always better to use options. So this was one of those questions. Where options use karte, to kafi jaldi ho jata. Now in the question, it is given certain weight of alloy of silver and copper. It is mixed with three kg of pure silver due to which resulting alloy will have 90% silver. They are saying if the same weight of initial alloy, it is mixed with two kg of another alloy, which has 90% silver. Now the resulting alloy will have 84% silver. We have to find the weight of the initial alloy. हम यहाँ ऑप्शन यूज कर रहे हैं तो मैं एज्यूम कर रहा हूं कि पहला ऑप्शन सही है सो दैट मीन्स आई टेकिंग थ्री के जी ऑफ द इनिशियल अलॉय एंड वी आर मिक्सिंग इट विथ थ्री के जीज ऑफ प्योर सिल्वर ना स्टूडेंट्स हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई एलिगेशन और एलिगेशन में अप्लाई कर रहा हूं बाई यूजिंग सिल्वर अब हमने थ्री के जीज ऑफ प्योर सिल्वर लिया है तो उसमें जो सिल्वर होगा दैट वुड बी हंड्रेड हंड्रेड परसेंट बिकॉज इट इज प्योर सिल्वर And in the initial alloy, we do not know what is the percentage of silver. So let us leave it like this. Finally, we know that we will be having 90% silver. So 90 will come in the center. Now we'll apply allegation, right? And you can see here, because we have taken same quantities, here we had 3 kg, here we have 3 kgs assumed. So that means if quantities are same, so ratio should be 1 is to 1. मतलब जो हमारा आंसर आना चाहिए वो वन इज टू वन आना चाहिए नाउ डिफरेंस ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटी डिफरेंस ऑफ हंड्रेड एंड नाइनटी इज टेन तो अगर यहां मेरा टेन का डिफरेंस है तो यहां भी तो टेन का डिफरेंस होना चाहिए तभी तो रेशियो वन और वन का आएगा करेक्ट सो दैट मीन्स इफ हंड्रेड इज टेन मोर देन नाइनटी सो दिस वैल्यू शुड बी टेन लेस देन नाइनटी सो दिस हैज टू बी एट्टी इसका मतलब है कि जो हमारा इनिशियल लॉय है उसमें जो सिल्वर है वो एट्टी परसेंट है Now we have to see whether it is satisfying the other case or not. क्योंकि हमारा first alloy में silver 80% परसेंट आया है सो आई सोल्व द सेकेंड केस एज्यूमिंग दैट देयर इज एट्टी परसेंट सिल्वर इन द इनिशियल अलॉय तो इनिशियल अलॉय में एट्टी परसेंट सिल्वर है एंड नाउ इट इज मिक्स विथ टू के जी ऑफ अनदर अलॉय विच हैज नाइनटी परसेंट सिल्वर तो इसको हमने मिक्स किया नाइनटी परसेंट सिल्वर के साथ एंड माइंड यू दिस क्वान्टिटी इज गिवेन दिस क्वान्टिटी इज गिवेन टू के जी Now the resulting alloy will have 84% silver, so center may 84 आ जाएगा. Now students, if we apply allegation, so you can see 80 or 84 का difference, 90 और 84 का difference. So this difference is coming out to be six, and 80 और 84 का difference is coming out to be four. So can I say ratio is coming out to be three is to two? So if ratio is coming out to be three is to two. And this is already given two kgs. That means this has to be three kgs. So, जो हमारा initial alloy है, that is coming out to be three kgs, which we have assumed in the first option. Okay, so that means this option is correct. So, no need to check any other options. So, this was the best possible method here. I hope all of you have understood it. Thank you, everyone.